Hey everybody, this is Brendan from Common Motor, common-motor.com on the internet. So today we're going to show you how to adjust the cam chain on this Honda CT90 or Trail 90. So stay tuned. So the CT90 engine and its successor, the CT110, was built for a really long time and uh, the cam chain adjustment is part of the periodic uh, tune-up interval type stuff. However, the earlier CT90s, the K3s and down, so the K0 to K3, have a pure hydraulic uh, adjustment system, which means that they adjust in real time as the bike is running, and there's nothing that you have to do as the, uh, the owner. Now, in K4 and ups, Honda added this mechanical assist system to the cam chain adjustment. So if your engine is a K4 and up, maybe not your bike, but check your the number on your engine, uh, you're gonna have that mechanical assist hydraulic system that needs that periodic adjustment and we'll show you how to do it. When it comes to the adjustment of these tune-up parts, and the cam chain adjustment, uh, valve adjustment, and ignition timing adjustment, we have what's called a domino effect, where one part affects another part, um, affects another part in adjustment. So we want to do them in the sequence that uh, reduces the amount of uh, play or slop in the system for the adjustment. In this case, we're, we're gonna look at the cam chain. You're supposed to be doing the cam chain adjustment when the bike is running, but since we want to do the, all these static adjustments on the bike, we're gonna have to do a mechanical cam chain adjustment to take out some of the slop. How do we know we have slop on the system? Take a look at this. So I have my rotor you know, cover off here. We remove the, uh, the shift lever so we can see better. You don't have to do that for the adjustment, but watch this. That is just slop in the cam chain. And it tells me that the tensioner isn't putting enough tension on the cam chain. And that slop will then have an effect on the valve adjustment top and camshaft position, which has an effect on the ignition timing. So we're gonna try to get some of that slop out of there uh, mechanically, and then we'll do a actual dynamic adjustment of that once the bike is running. A note, if you're jumping into this, you know, if, you, if you grab the rotor and you're not feeling a lot of slop like this, you're fine to move forward to doing the valve adjustment. But in our case, this is really sloppy. It tells me that this cam machine is probably out of adjustment. And so we're gonna try to remove some of that slop right now in real time. All right, we lifted the bike a bit further. We removed the, uh, the, the crash guard and the foot peg so you guys can see what's happening in here a little bit better. Um, so this is our, our, our cam chain adjustment system on the bikes that have the mechanical setup. If it's hydraulic, you're not gonna have this. So this is our, it's a lock screw and a jam nut that puts pressure on the piston to lock it in place. And then we have a, a cap here and there's another screw under there um, that puts pressure on the spring to push a piston up. So you can see this is like a cylinder. It's just a little piston uh, that goes and puts tension on the tensioner. That's just kind of a dust, dust cap there. Might have a little bit of residue on it. And then we're gonna come around and you're gonna see this flathead screw thing in here that is a uh, screwed inwards to put pressure on the spring, to put pressure on the piston. So <clears throat> I'm gonna release this you know, locking screw and jam nut and we're gonna see if that uh, tension comes out of there. Um, I am noting that on my adjustment screw here, it's loose. I don't feel any tension on that spring. So uh, I feel a little bit of a turn it clockwise. I'm starting to feel a little resistance there. So I'm gonna back it off. Now you can actually see it kind of coming out there. Back it off all the way. 12 millimeter, hold the screw. Break the nut loose. Let me back that off. Let's see what happens. Oh, I heard it. The clunk. Look at that. There it is. Like how, see how that changed? I heard a clunk. So that just released in place. Um, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna just bring it up a little bit where I start to feel resistance. right about there, starting to feel. It's light, it's a very light feel. 
So I'm gonna stop there with it. We'll go ahead and we'll lock this one down. Any of these, you just feel them touch. I mean, I just, there it is, just touching. Just a hair more, you don't go, to, don't go crazy on it. And then you bring the, the jam nut down, to hold it in place. So I, I do want to emphasize that the only reason we did this kind of static adjustment here is because we had, as we saw up here, some crazy excess play. Look at that. See how it's gone now? That's what we want. Uh, we will actually do the final adjustment when the bike is running uh, because we do have some hydraulic assists on the, on the piston here, but the, the bike has to be running. The oil pressure's got to be up, and we want to make sure we don't want to over-tighten the can chain. But for now, that's a lot better than what we had before. So we can go ahead and move forward with the valve adjustment or an ignition timing adjustment. All right, so this process has to be done with the bike running and live, so we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna work quick. Loosen the lock screw. Back it up. We're looking for any real noise, no real feel on the screwdriver, real light touch. It's really getting tight about there. Not very tight, it's still a loose touch. I'm getting resistance. I'm gonna call it quits there. Lock the screw. Done. Get it buttoned up here. Screwdriver and just snug. Put our cap back on. All right, so that concludes the cam chain adjustment process. I do want to end on a couple uh, of notes. So this, this system is a little bit funny because ideally you're trying to assist this hydraulic piston um, to activate the cam chain tensioner. Now in our, our running bike example here, uh, we didn't really hear any noise in the cam chain. Now that might be different on your bike, could be loud. Uh, as I am turning that screw that's in the bottom of the engine, I am using the lightest touch with my fingers on the screwdriver. In fact, probably a smaller screwdriver is better if you're not sure about it. And I'm feeling for just a little bit more resistance on that screw. Once it starts to give me some of that resistance, I stop. I don't just keep cranking down on the screw. Uh, as you also saw in our, uh, our other bike on the, on the lift, we heard an audible click when the tension released because that particular engine hadn't been uh, probably adjusted in many, many years. Um, that got it close, so we could set ignition timing and do valve adjustment, but then once it's running, we do the same kind of adjustment here to get it fine-tuned. Um, that's about it, though. That's all I can tell you about it. If it's loud, tighten it up a little bit, but don't over-tighten it because you can cause premature cam chain wear and cam chain adjuster wear. As always, this is Brennan with the Common Motor, common-motor.com on the internet. Make sure you follow us on social media, that's Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe to our newsletter via our website, and of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications, and we will see you next time.